Hey guys, it's John with CheatSheetPros.com and I want to do a quick tutorial on how to use our optimizer. I do want to note that our optimizer isn't meant to replace RotoQL and Fantasy Cruncher. Those are very high-end optimizers that have several options and ways to spit out complex lineups. So what I wanted to do was build a web optimizer for our premium members to give them a little something extra if they don't want to pay the outrageous fees to sign up for one of the other two. So with our optimizers, you can do the basics. You can lock and exclude players. You can change your global exposure percentage, and then you can optimize your lineups, and then you can easily export them at the click of a button and upload them directly into DraftKings or FanDuel. So let's go ahead and get started and see what it looks like. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. So here is the optimizer on the CheatSheetPro.com website. So up here, this is where you select your sport. We have football, golf, and NBA. Right now, we're mainly focusing on NFL and NBA. So we're going to go ahead and start off and look at NFL. You can pick DraftKings or FanDuel. So DraftKings, these are the slates that are available. So we're going to go ahead and choose the main slate. We're going to load our players. And then from this point, you can optimize by the current projection, which is what I recommend. Or if you end up messing with the custom projections, you can drop down here and choose custom. So where the custom projections are, are right here. You can make some changes. So for example, if CMC is projected at 27 points and you want to put him at 35, you can do that. Um, also, your number of lineups here, you can change it up or change it down. For the purposes of this, I'm just going to knock it down to five so we can generate some lineups. And then you can narrow it down by position here. And we can change our global exposure. So this is basically all of the people, and you can see it changes over here, in your lineups, what is the maximum amount of exposure you want to have. So everyone has something different. Ours defaults to 50. Uh, most default to 100 until you change it. And then we have a little reset button here. You can change it around. And if you need to search a player, like uh, let's say Michael Thomas, you can type it in our search box and it brings up everybody with Thomas in their name. And then you can lock or exclude that player. Um, I think that's pretty given, but you can lock a player over here and that will put them in every lineup. Or you can exclude them here and that will put them in no lineups. Sorry about that. And so we're going to go ahead. So we've got our player pull up. We have 50% exposure. We're going to go ahead and generate five lineups. And it's going to take a minute. It's going to clock. And then it's going to spit out our lineups here. So right now it's giving us Lamar, Mixon, Melvin, Cooper, Keenan, Crowder, Hooper, Fant, and then Colts D. And then you can scroll down here and look at the other lineups. And once you get a set of lineups that you like, up here we have a button right here. It says Export. Once you click export, it's going to generate a CSV file that you can load directly into DraftKings. So you would just take this and save it to your desktop. And then you want to go to DraftKings and under the edit lineups, there's an upload lineups. And you can load this right in there and it will load all of the players for you. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this out. Now I want to go back and I want to show you. So this is our basic optimizer here but I wanna show you kind of what we're working on going forward. So now let's look at NBA FanDuel. So FanDuel for DraftKings and, I'm sorry, NBA for FanDuel and DraftKings, we've implemented a different user interface. So I kinda of wanna show you that. So everything here is the same. We're gonna go ahead, let's just generate five lineups, 50% exposure and it's gonna clock for a minute and it's gonna spit it out. So this is the new user interface we're working on. So we've got the team logos for all the teams. We put the little color code in the background and we've got the totals down here in black. So it looks really good. So I was really pleased with this. In the future, we may shrink this logo down, but I kinda like it where you can actually see it. And um, yeah. So that's what we're looking at now. So that's kind of fun to look at when you're building your lineups. Um, we haven't launched it yet for football, but that's something that we do have on the schedule. And same thing with FanDuel. When we come over here, let's go ahead and sort by value. And we're going to go ahead and it's going to generate 10 lineups. And we got the same user interface over here. So you can see all of the players. And it's the same thing if you want to export these lineups if you like them and you want to export them and load them directly into DraftKings or FanDuel, 
just click this little button up here. Again, CSV file shoots up. It has all the player IDs and you can just take this, save it to your desktop and upload it directly into DraftKings and then enter your lineups. And that's pretty much where we're at guys. So I hope you like it. Um, we do have more features that we're working on in the future and it is something that just keeps getting better and better. And again, we're not here to replace Fantasy Cruncher or RotoQL or some of these other high-end optimizers. We just want to give people an option that's inexpensive to generate some basic lineups with some players they like and export them and upload them directly into Excel. So I hope you give us a try. Thanks, guys.